What's going on, everybody? Leo here with the Cohen Group Northwest. We are doing a virtual tour that I will be narrating. So all of you that can't get out there in the rain, maybe you're working today and have a, a quick break and want to take a look at this uh, virtual tour with the narration so you can get a better idea of all of the things that you'll want to know before you potentially go out and tour a house. Uh, we're talking about Core Bellingham, uh, good access to I-5, close to downtown, close to shopping, amenities, walkable trails, Bell I mean, everything that's Bellingham, this, that's this house. Let's jump right in. All right, everybody, so we're in the entrance here. Well, neither of us are physically in the entrance, but we're here. And right as you walk in, you're gonna see a lot of old world detail. This house has some beautiful, beautiful old growth fir floors, and they're everywhere in the house. Except for the kitchen and the bathrooms, they are everywhere. So when you walk in, you've got a nice grand entrance. You've got your staircase up to your left, um, which is, again, when you take a look at it, it is absolutely beautiful, old growth fur. You can see attention to the detail in the banister. Uh, you wouldn't want to slide down the banister, but it is definitely sturdy, just like most things are built in this era. So we're going to go ahead and walk straight into the living space. So you've got on your left, you've got a powder room, half bath, where if you have guests, you can go use that versus going through the what would be the primary bedroom um, that you'll see straight ahead. To the right here is a formal dining room. Could be used as a, a living room as well because it's got the uh, gas powered fireplace uh, right there. Insert. Um, one of the coolest parts about this is this used to be, uh, you can see the brick, the faux brick on your right. This actually used to be one flowy room and the, the sellers actually sectioned it off put their own flair on and added a another bedroom. So this is pretty cool. Uh, but you can see still uh, in this photo or in this video that you're looking at more old growth fur. I mean, if you look around Bellingham, you'll see many houses that are built in this era and some of them have been covered up by linoleum or any of the other decades. And uh, I mean, look at it, it's beautiful. It's in great shape. Um, it's not dinged up like a lot of this stuff gets in a hundred years, um, 120 years, wow. Anyways, so we're now in the living room, uh, dining room area. Um, you're looking out at the front of the house there to the right. So that's out to the front porch. So now we're gonna take a, uh, a stroll out here outside of the bedroom, back to the living space, straight ahead to the kitchen. So you can see kitchen, galley style kitchen. Uh, we've got tile. Uh, we've got Formica uh, here on the countertops. Um, you've got your laundry space, access to the back patio area, which we'll get out to. Uh, well, we won't be able to on this video, but you can see in the photos, pretty wide. Uh, what I've noticed with a lot of galley style kitchens is they're pretty narrow. And one thing I really like about this is you can fit multiple people in there. So you don't feel like you're crammed when you're cooking and cleaning at the same time or whatever you may be doing. So, so now we are going to turn around virtually and we're gonna go out here to the dining room area again. Again, I want to note the old growth fur, which is also in the bedrooms um, and it has been very well maintained. So this is what would be considered the primary bedroom and this is the main level. So for those of you that don't want stairs, um, there's stairs here, but not to get into your uh, primary bedroom. So pretty good size. A lot of these older houses that you'll see, that you'll see actually have pretty small bedrooms and these are pretty good size. Like you'll, you'll see as we go upstairs, all pretty good size bedrooms. So we're going to take a step into this uh, remodeled bathroom here. So we've got newer paint, we've got newer countertops. Um, so it does have its old world flair, but it's got uh, some updates that are, are pretty tasteful. Sometimes uh, different decades can clash, and I think they've done a really good job, tasteful job, um, to ma make sure to maintain that old world flair, flair and the culture at the time. So. We're gonna take a step back towards the main uh, entrance here on the front. So now we're gonna go up the stairs. The stairs are actually one of my favorite parts of the house. I mean, they're so cool. Um, you don't see many staircases like this with new construction, right? Uh, they spent a lot of time on it, beautiful. And if you look to the left here, um, you'll see that you're looking out into your side yard and there's fruit trees, there's good uh, privacy from the neighbor's yard. Um, so you're close to neighbors, but you're not feeling like you're so close, which is really nice. Um, we'll take a look at the bathroom here really quickly. Similar to the primary uh, ensuite, 
bathrooms. So this is shared between the two bedrooms upstairs. Um, so you've got a good sized bathroom, good space, and it's a full bathroom and two bedrooms up here. So we're gonna go to the right bedroom first. And this is one of the larger rooms in the house, which is great. So uh, maybe your favorite kid gets to go in this room uh, or uh, maybe this is your suite up here. There's, there's lots of choices, which is nice. So good size bedroom, full growth fur, uh, lots of natural setting around and a good size closet, which is also kind of rare in this age of a home to have a, a pretty decent size walk-in closet. And we are standing in the closet now. Don't shut the door virtually. We're standing in the closet. Cool. So here is bedroom number four. Uh, we're looking out back over the alleyway. So this is about the same size as the primary bedroom, but you're looking directly out over the back, um, which would be the kitchen, the laundry space, down towards the patio. And if you look back there, there is actually quite a bit of parking off the alleyway. So you got street parking, you've got uh, parking off the alleyway. This is your classic quintessential Bellingham craftsman, uh, charming craftsman, if you will. And you've got parking, you've got alley access, you're close to downtown Bellingham, you're you know, walkable everywhere. You're by one of my favorite places to get breakfast burritos at Nelson's Market, 1620 Grant Street. Um, it just came on the market, 500,000. Um, you've got until the 5th, October 5th, to submit offers. If you'd like to take a private tour that's in person, if you'd like to walk in the house, get the vibes, get the feeling, be there, um, please feel free to text or call me, 360-820-3434, or you can reach out to us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, any of the above, and we'd love to give you a private tour and give you more information on this beautiful Bellingham home. Thank you for joining us, and please let me know if you have questions.